this mountain. Be removed and be cast into the sea. Stop begging for the mountain to be removed. Stop walking around the mountain hoping that just in your meditation it's going to be removed. Speak to it. Tell it to be removed. Cast it into the sea. Tell it where it needs to go. The mountain. John 3 8 the Bible says for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil Amen. that he might destroy the works of the devil the Word of God right here it says for this purpose the Son of God was manifested Jesus was manifested so that he would destroy the works of the devil Jesus came to destroy the works and he did he did how did he do it? At the cross. The cross destroyed the works of the devil. Amen? Amen. That's Colossians 2.15. He made a public ridicule, a public spectacle of Satan at the cross in Colossians 2.15. The works of the devil are sin. When you go over to John, 1 John 3.8, we read the whole thing. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, what purpose? Because of sin. Because of sin. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. The Son of God was manifested. What's manifested? Manifested, made visible. He was made visible, made clear, made known obvious it was obvious that Jesus came to do something that was quite different from what everyone else had come to do it was obvious that his appearing changed everything you cannot win a vicious attack hiding in a corner in your house yeah. Jesus was manifested he was yeah. visible he came out he showed up you need to show up when you show up and you tell the enemy he can't have you he can't have your family and you stay at that position knowing that you're not going to back down knowing that you will not back down Jesus didn't back down and you're not going to back down the son of God appeared are you going to show up you're not going to hide in a place in your house you're going to make sure you've shown up right amen show up every day show up every day show up at your house show up at your work show up every day show up at church show up every single day do you understand what I'm saying Jesus was manifested that means he appeared you need to appear there's too much people hiding in the corner in their house hiding in a place all by themselves wondering when this is gonna happen leave kind of pass them by but what if you were God's chosen agent to actually push that thing out of the way by appearing show up say I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna open my mouth show up and open your mouth decree the Word of God amen and in verse 10 of 1st John 3 out of the same wait, wait a minute I'm in the wrong place here let me go back to 1st John okay 1st John 3 10 it says in the in this the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest children of God are supposed to show up children of the devil also show up let's read it again in this the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. They're showing up. They're appearing. They're opening up their mouths. If the enemy has his assignments, his agents, his people that he works through, and he speaks through them, he, they open their mouth. I just read it to you. They're showing up. They're manifesting. They're appearing in broad daylight and doing whatever they want to do. They're not even trying to keep it a secret anymore. You know, the angel used to come as an angel, or the devil used to come as an angel of light, trying to disguise himself. But let me tell you, although he still does do that, he also just comes believing blatantly now in your face doesn't even try to hide it anymore yeah. right so the enemy has his people showing up are God's people showing up yeah. that's the thing are God's people showing up when you show up you're gonna do what God did you're gonna do what Christ did and he actually yeah. destroyed the works of the devil it is up to you to destroy the works of the devil he already did it amen yes that's true but now we actually have to walk in the same counsel that God has given to us to do what Jesus did he said greater things shall you do
He said greater things. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ, right? When we fo Paul said, follow me as I, pa as I follow Christ, right? So we're to follow the works that Paul has given us to do, but we're to follow the works that Jesus also has told us to do. And he said, not only the works I've done, but greater. Amen. He wants us to do greater. Amen. He wants us to, how many of you guys want to do greater? Greater things. It's possible. What do we see here displayed tonight? God's beautiful glory realm of God. Come on, this is not like the world can't in the flesh, in, in the world. This does not happen. Like you can't do what you just saw manifest here in the flesh, in the world's system. But when you're in another system, when you're in heaven's sphere, that's where signs, miracles, and wonders show up. Because in reality, they've never moved. In reality, they've never gone anywhere. It's the presence of God that we pulled down here on earth. What we did is we pulled heaven here to earth. And we did so corporately. We did it as a corporate move of God and boy did we feel the presence of God boy did we see his glorious power displayed amen it's powerful and people are being changed because of it transformed because of it so in let's go to Isaiah 10 27 because you have been given every one of you you've been given yoke destroying power we know the anointing breaks the yoke You've been given yoke. You've been given yoke destroying power. Say, I've been given yoke destroying power. See, the devil is into yokes. The assignment of the enemy. He, the devil's into yokes. He's into bondage. He, he's into trying to stop the will of God in your life. The devil is in, in, is he's into shutting you up. He's into discouraging you. He's into robbing you. He's into yokes. He wants to put a burden. He wants to put a bondage. But the anointing on your life is going to break that burden. The anointing on your life will break that bondage when you learn to rise up and walk in the anointing God's given you. So in Isaiah 10, 27, it says, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed the yoke is the yoke of bondage will be destroyed because of the anointing say i carry anointed that uh, the anointing that breaks the yoke that's yoke breaking anointing that is yoke breaking anointing do you believe that over yourself see he has empowered you he's empowered you by the holy spirit every one of you we've been empowered by the holy spirit jesus came to destroy the works of the devil jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. devil so if he's come and he's already come and he's already destroyed the works of the devil and then we hear the scripture that we actually have been anointed with power to destroy yokes that means the enemy that roams around trying to defeat and discourage and destroy those that he can but you're going to rise up and say oh no i'm not that person that used to sit in the corner waiting for this thing to pass me by i'm showing up are you showing up children of god are you showing up if the world systems are showing up children of god better be showing up and manifest let the appearing of christ appear through you let the appearing of christ show up and let god's appearing appear through you in other words you're going to open up your mouth and you're going to decree the truth you're going to have eyes to see where you couldn't see before. You're going to have this razor sharp vision that you're going to see, oh, that thing is not of God. I take authority over that right now. Let me tell you, if you're standing for truth and we are standing for truth and we've been standing for truth for quite some time, right? And so guess what? The church that has been standing for truth for a long time is the church that's actually being attacked in other words, you may not see it because we're moving in the glory and you see all this beautiful, you know, power anointing flowing in this place. But individual is at home. You don't know what's going on at people's houses. You don't know what they have to battle every day. You don't know. We show up and you go, wow, this is great. It is great. It is great. But let me tell you, churches that have been standing like this one, there's so many different vicious, vile attacks because we've been standing. But my encouragement to you is don't think that you're the only one that is experiencing opposition. 
Don't think you're the only one that is experiencing maybe some kind of setback or just opposition. Because you've been standing, God says there is a demonic assignment to try to discourage and, and cause the church to be weakened, to be shut down, to stop functioning in the gifts. But God, not on my watch. Say, not on my watch. Not at this church fabricated lies like i mean ridiculous fabricated lies that have come against me and this church as well i you know do you believe so and so and it's the exact opposite of what i actually believe you know what i mean like i mean like really wicked crazy so and so said this happened and this happened and this happened and, and here and down to details and i'm like wow Wow, it's the devil. Wow, it's a good thing. I look at it like this is a good thing because the devil went, he's afraid of us. He is so afraid. He's not going to mess with somebody he's not afraid of. The reason that you're being so attacked for some of you that are feeling the attack and the pressure is because you've been standing for Christ for a long time, even when it wasn't like, you know, when a lot of places were not standing. And so right now, the enemy's like, I just want to incur, I want to discourage, I want to steal, I want to rob. But God, that's why I'm saying, but God, you're going to defy that devil. You're going to move more in the glory. You're going to move more in the glory, not less. We're going to move more in the glory, not less. We're going to see more signs, miracles, wonders. We're going to see more salvations. We're going to see more healings. Why? Because we are not in it to quit. We're in it to press through. We're pressing through. We're pressing through. Are you pressing through? We got to press through. We have to have that mentality in our our spirit man that no matter what we are pressing through we're showing up we're showing up glory to god Amen. Amen. hallelujah let's go to mark let's go to mark 11 mark 11 i was so excited when the lord gave me this this message because I thought, oh, Lord, that's right, because we are the church of God, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. And I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this place. I thank you, Lord God. I, you know, I just, I love the fact that we have so much power in Christ. And, you know, we don't always use that power that God gives us. we got to remember to use the power. Use the power that God has given us. Use the power. Use the power. So let's look at Mark 11, verse 22. So Jesus answered and said to them, he said, have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. Stop begging for the mountain to be removed. Stop walking around the mountain, hoping that just in your meditation, it's going to be removed. Speak to it. Tell it to be removed. Amen. Cast it into the sea. Amen. Tell it where it needs to go. The mountain would, would be like an opposition, a problem, a trial. Something in your life that is an, an opposite. It's, direct, it's, it's in direct opposition to what God is wanting to do in your life or someone in your life, right? Yeah. Speak to it. Tell it to move. Look at it and say, oh, no, you don't. In the name of Jesus, Amen. be thrown into the sea. Be destroyed. In Jesus' name, you will not have your way. For the spirit of the living God is upon me. Learn to speak to that situation. And you need to continue to do so day by day. Day by day. Until it's done. But then the Bible says, do not doubt. So not only do you command it to be thrown, right? Cast into the sea. But it says, do not doubt in your heart, but believe that the things you say will be done. I want you to put your hand over your heart and I want you to say, I believe the things that I say will be done. I believe the things that I say will be done. Now I want you to turn to your neighbor and I want you to prophesy it over them. I believe the things that you say are going to happen. I believe the things that you say are going to happen. The things that you say are going to happen. The things that we say in accordance to the will of God are going to come to pass. The things that we say according to the will of God, they are going to come to pass. Start speaking life. Start speaking resurrection power. Start speaking the impossibilities to become possible. Because God says there's nothing impossible for those who believe. He says only have faith, only believe. Trust me. Trust me, saith the Lord. Just trust me, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. This is a powerful portion of scripture. He says, only believe, don't doubt, but believe in your heart. The things that you say will be done. And whatever he says, whatever you will have, whatever you say, you will have whatever you say. Lord, put a guard over our mouths. We will have whatever we say. We're going to speak differently. From this day forth, I prophesy over you that you're going to speak differently because you're going to have what you say. So you're going to speak life and not death. You're going to speak the blessing and not the curse. You're going to speak God's abundance and not the world's limitation over your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's so true. Praise the Lord. It is so true. And so the whole word, the whole Bible backs up what I'm saying. This is just one portion in scripture that we're reading, but this is consistent throughout the word of God. And then he says, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, whatever things you ask when you pray, the Bible says here, believe, believe. Oh, belief is so powerful. Believe that you receive them and you will have them. Whatever you ask when you pray, believe in your heart that you will receive them and you will have them. So when you pray, I want you to pray with faith. I want you to pray with confidence. I want you to pray knowing that God not only hears you, but God also answers your prayer. And that when you pray in accordance to the will of God, you have it. You have it. Has nothing to do with if you see it. You have it. You have it. And you will eventually see it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See, the Christian that the devil is afraid of is the Christian that actually lives in faith, knowing what they, knowing their rights in the kingdom, knowing their rights, knowing that we are blood bought, saved by the Holy Ghost, the power of God's resurrection power, and we walk in this level of authority we, that we know that we know that we know. Jesus already destroyed the works of darkness. He already destroyed the devil's works, and he has given us now the baton in the form of the keys to the kingdom. We have the keys to the kingdom. With the key, I'm going to open up doors. And with the key, I'm going to lock another one that should have never been opened in the first place. Some of you need to use your keys to open up certain doors and lock some other ones up for good. And throw that key away. Throw that key away. But do you know what I'm saying? Some things need to be bound up. Some things need to be bound up. Some things need to be loosed unto your life. Are you blessing yourself? Are you, are you loosening the things unto yourself that need to be the blessings of God? And are you telling other things, oh, you got to get out of here in Jesus' name. I will not tolerate this for our, our family is blessed beyond measure. You may have not known, Mr. Devil. Maybe you just missed that memo, but I'll tell you right now, I know who I am in Christ, and I haven't been standing this long for nothing. I'm going to continue to stand, and I'm going to continue to see the glory of God in my life, the glory of God in your life, the glory of God in my family's life. Are you? Are you? We're going to see the glory, continue to see the glory of God in our lives. And so the Christian that the devil is afraid of is the Christian that really believes what they say. You really believe it. When you really believe it, you're going to walk in that way. You're going to walk in that way. You're going to actually, you're going to actually expect to receive the blessing. I expect God to answer me. I expect it. I expect answers to prayers. Do you? We have to expect it because the word of God has promised it to us. So right now, if there's anyone that does not expect it, if there's any, any place in your heart where there is that unbelief or that, I don't know about that, I'm not sure, just that little bit of a hesitation, I take authority and I command that to go. I cast out right now any place of, of, of just, you know, double-mindedness or just... Um, doubt, I command unbelief and doubt to go right now because God wants to give you so much more. He wants to give us a lot more than I believe we're even asking. I believe that God, you know, we know the the Bible says that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills, right? On a, a cattle on a thousand hills. In other words, the blessing of God, he wants to give you more than you're asking. Oh my goodness, he is so good. He wants to give us more than we're even Asking. So true. Hallelujah. So Jesus destroyed the works of darkness, and we destroy the works of darkness by the blood of the Lamb. 
Let, I'm going to have everybody stand up for this because I want to pray some things over you. I'm going to have you stand up right now. Father, I thank you that as Jesus destroyed the works of darkness and you have called us to do the same, not less, but even more. You said greater things. So we have to at least be doing the things you did. But right now I decree over them. Let every lawless act of rebellion working against you, working against your families, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every lawless act every lawless act of rebellion working against you right now be removed I cast that into the bottom of the sea I cast that out right now let every lie and every scheme of the enemy opposing you be cut from you now and let it go to the pit where it belongs let it fall to the ground let it bear no fruit for the anointing breaks the power of the lie let every lie coming against you be destroyed right now every lie every curse every hex be destroyed right now everything coming against you and your family be destroyed every accusation let every accusation be destroyed right now that's coming against you let it be destroyed I cast it out right now I silence the voice of the enemy coming against you in Jesus' name let every scheme of the enemy every wicked scheme and every wicked plot be destroyed and the power behind it be cast out let the wicked scheme be destroyed and let the power behind it be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every witchcraft spirit right now, oh yes, every witchcraft spirit, every web of deception, every web of deception be broken off your lives. Every web, every scheme, every hierarchy, every demonic, every demise, everything that the enemy has laced with his venom, I break it off you. I break it off. I cast it out right now. I decree it has no place in your life has no place in your future in the name of Jesus every demonic agreement let every demonic agreement coming against you be destroyed every place where you came into agreement with a demonic lie we break the power of it now we uproot it we cast it out right now in the name of Jesus every one of you for your mind is becoming clear your mind is becoming clear right now let every place of offense go right now every wicked diabolical assignment of offense leave you right now every judgment form of judgment leave her right now oh every lie that meant to kill steal destroy I command that to go right now the one that comes to kill steal destroy I command the one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy, be out, be removed from their life right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you are getting delivered right now. Even as I'm praying, things are leaving you. Things are lifting off of you. Some of you are feeling lighter. Some of you are feeling lighter than you even were when you walked in here today. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Father, let every intent to separate them, let every intent to separate them from God-ordained places be destroyed right now every intent to take you away from a god in god instructed place from a god intended place be removed right now in the name of jesus be cast to the sea be removed right now let the power behind it be destroyed in Jesus' name glory to god hallelujah hallelujah the lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you they will come against you in one way and flee seven ways i decree over you seven ways the enemy is leaving seven ways seven ways off your family seven ways seven ways seven ways, seven ways. Seven ways. he's leaving right now in the name of jesus seven ways See, the enemy thinks that he can have his way, but he can't when you recognize you have power. Holy Ghost power. I break the lies against your family and the accusation against your family. Every demonic court, mm, every demonic court ordered uh, destruction be destroyed right before your face. Let you see it. Let them see it. Let them see the Bible says that the wicked flee. The wicked are fleeing right now. Every demonic assignment is fleeing right now. 
Righteous are as bold as a lion. But the wicked run. They flee. We're not the wicked. You're not running. But the enemy is going to be running. He's running right now because you're being filled with dunamis power right now. You're being filled with dunamis power right now. You're being filled. Father, fill him up with dunamis power right now. Holy Ghost power right now. You're in your right mind because you have the mind of Christ. You have no confusion because you're in the mind of Christ. You're filled with God's dunamis power. Glory to God. Don't fret. None of this is with fretting. None of this is with worrying. None of this at all. Because you have the spirit of the living God working on the inside of you. So therefore, you live on fire. You live on fire. The fire of God is flowing in you. So the fire of God flows in me. The fire of God flows in me. You're anointed for these end time purposes. And children of God are led by the Spirit of God. So if children of God, you are led by God's Spirit. So there's no fretting. There's no worrying. Because greater is He, the Spirit of the living God, in you than He that is roaming on this earth. Amen. Father, fill them up right now again. Oh, we give you the praise. Somebody give God the praise and the high praises of God. Glory. Glory to God. Praise you, Father. So if Jesus came to destroy the works of darkness, so have you. And so will you every day. Amen? Amen.